Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree and we need to print element in spiral form. So spiral form means uh, like first of all I will print this one, then uh, I will print uh, this way, then I will print this way, right? So there is basically a spiral like this one, right? This one, right? So this is spiral going on. So spiral means let's say, so the first I will print 2 then I will print left to right 7 and 5 then I will print right to left so then I then I should print 9 6 12 then again I should print left to right means 5 11 4 right so this is spiral if you see that this is uh, left to right then again if you see that I have printed like this so I have printed 9 6 12 so 9 6 12 then I have printed 5 11 4 so this was left to right then this was right to left then again this was left to right and if it was another one so I would print right to left right so this is a format in which I should print out in a spiral form right so basically uh, how we'll do it so how we can do it that will take basically the help of two stacks right I will take stack 1 and I will take stack 2 so now uh, first of all I'll put the root value in one of the stack right so I'm directly explaining you uh, so that you can understand it better so first of all I will put the uh, stack 2 then I will remove it I then I will pop from it and I will print the value and then after that I will uh, then after that I will check and then for this one it means for one level I will start checking from the right and then left and for another level I will first of all put the element from left to right right so what I mean I mean that I will remove the element, I will print it and I will check that if it has any right element, if it has any right element, so put in the stack, right? And we have removed it, so just pop it. Now uh, after right, just put the left. So now I will put the left, right? Now this is empty. So now uh, again, now I will remove this element and then I will check the, because here I was checking the right, but now I will check the left first. So I will check. So let's say this is my stack one. So this is just a stack. This is the same stack. I am just representing it again like this one. So now uh, I will check. I will remove seven. I will print it here, and then I will check that uh, what that if it has any left element, yes, it has. So it will print in the stack. It has any right, yes, it has. Now I will remove five. I will print five here. And I will now I will check so 5 doesn't has any left but it has right so it will print it will sorry add 9 here right so it means we are finished with all this stack right all this stack element now our stack is empty now we'll again iterate from here and now we'll iterate from the right side right so uh, this is the same stack I am just that representing like this so first of all it will check it has any uh, so I will remove first of all 9 and I will print here I will check it has any right no it has any left yes so just put here now I will remove uh, I will pop from here from this text so it will pop six now again it will check the right so six has any right yes it has so and I will uh, I will print also what I have popped is six then it will check this left it has left yes it has right now I will check with the 12 so I will remove 12 I will uh, so now after 6 it will print 12 so now it will check uh, that whether whether 12 has any left or right no it doesn't have right so it means now my stack is empty now I have removed 9 6 12 so I do this until my stack is empty so now my stack is empty now I will again keep on iterating from this side from 5 so first of all and this 5 11 4 all does not have any left and right so I can uh, I can pop the element and I can pop the element I will just keep on printing 5 11 and 4 right so if you can see what I have printed first I have printed 2 then I have printed 7 then 5 then 9 then 6 then 12 then 5 then 11 then 4 right so if I overall write here this is what I have printed 7 then 9 then 6 then 12 then 5 then 11 and then 4 right and that's all all we wanted right if you can see from here that first printed 2 then we made this spiral 
5 then we make this spiral 9 6 12 and then we make this spiral 5 11 4 right so basically this is how we can implement the binary tree element in a spiral form that will take two stack and one by one for one level we'll put uh, all the values in one stack and then we'll keep on popping out the element and and then we'll put the left and right into another stack right so when we are solving one element then we'll go to left to right and when we are solving another level we'll go to right to left right so this is the way through which we can solve this now about the time complexity so basically one by one we are iterating on each element so my time complexity will be big of n so this will be my time complexity and if i talk about the space complexity so basically i need to take two stacks and i need to basically put the n elements right so again uh, i need to take n space right so that's all the time complexity that i'll need so uh, we have done this now i will show you through code that how we can implement it so this is how i have created my uh, tree and then here it is my main function print in spiral form where i'm passing the root node so uh, as explained i will take two stacks uh, s1 and s2 and where i will pass the node values so first of all i am putting the root value in one of the stack and i will operate this until s1 is not empty or s2 is not empty right so now uh, first of all because one by one i will operate this until one of the stack is not empty right because uh, that's what i explained that will first of all remove all the elements and then we'll do the uh, ultra wise vice versa right so for first of all uh, i'm checking with the s1 that until s1 is not empty so currently in s1 i have just a root node so it will pop the root element and it will print the root element now it will check so first of all i am checking with the left that if it has any left so it will print the left and then it will print the right and now if you if you see the s2 so now for the s2 what we are doing so here first we were first we are putting the left right and here we are printing right here we are putting right and left right so now uh, look it's on you so like uh, so like this was the so like this was the one of the spiral we can also make a spiral like this we we can also have the spiral like this like we'll start from the two then here then here then here right it means so basically first of all we'll print two then we can start printing here so we can print then from the here to here right to left then we can print a spiral right so a spiral can be in any way it can be it can start from it can start from here or it can start from here right so like i explained uh, using this one but in my example first of all i am putting the left and then i write and for the h2 i am putting the first right and then left right so this is what we need to take care that for one stack i am putting the values first left and then right and for another stack i am putting the value right and then left right and this is a logic so that we can uh, we can print the values in a spiral form right so in one iteration first of all i do for the s1 and then i do for the s2 right and at the last we go out of the loop so this is how we can print the values in spiral form right and uh, if i run the program so you can see that this has printed all the spiral form 2 then 5 7 then 12 6 9 and then 4 11 5 right so uh, that's it guys about this video and i will also put the complete source code uh, into description section so you can copy from there and then you can execute at your end also so that's it guys and if you have any doubt regarding this video please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and if you know any other good approach or any better approach then also please mention in the comment section so that's it guys about it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you